This is a video that I hope all of you photographers out there are watching because I think it's really important to explain something that's recently happened. So as many of you may know already, Amazon actually has a patent now on white background photography. No, I'm not kidding and this is not a prank video. If you don't believe me, go ahead and check out the link to several articles in the description below and check it out for yourself. This is completely legit. Amazon has actually patented the process for shooting on white backgrounds. Now, this doesn't affect you as badly as you might think as a photographer. What Amazon actually patented was a very specific process for shooting against white backgrounds under very specific conditions with very specific lights, distances, etc. They patented their custom process for doing this. So, if you even come close to their process, which would be very difficult, if not impossible to prove, and you would just move your light a couple inches to the left or to the right, you'd be completely fine. The thing that I don't like about this is it sets a bad precedent. Photographers have been shooting against white backgrounds since before Amazon came into existence as a company. The idea that any corporate entity can go ahead and proprietize some kind of process that already existed in the marketplace and in a marketplace that actually is not even their exclusive domain well before they as an entity ever existed is completely ridiculous to me and I think it sets a bad precedent. I think that people will continue to try to do this. I think that other companies will follow suit on this and try and do it. And where does it end? Where does it end? I mean, are companies going to outrightly go out and try and patent as many variations of a process as they can and block people out in terms of competition? Everyday people who have been doing this in their livelihood already. And what do we actually do about it? This is the problem with intellectual property laws in this country right now and the leverage that corporations have with the ability to affect our livelihood, especially in the creative services community. Now, I'm a huge fan of Amazon, don't get me wrong, and I'm not bashing them for this. And they didn't do anything implicitly wrong, I just think the spirit of the thing is wrong. Why did they feel the need to make this process, this specific process for how they do their product photography proprietary? What is so special about the way that they do product photography than the way any of us in the video or photo community handle it right now? And why would they feel that they need some kind of domain or dominion over it? As a creative professional, yes, I feel the need to protect things that I feel are proprietary to me or to my overall personal style, but something as generic as shooting against a white background in a quote unquote very specific way, that just seems a little unreasonable to me. Again, I could be wrong. This is just my particular opinion and my take on it. Ultimately, I wanted to put this video out there so you guys know that it doesn't affect you, you um, specifically unless you're duplicating their exact process. You can continue shooting against white backgrounds to your heart's content without worrying about Amazon suing you, at least for the time being. If this is the precedent that's gonna be set, it may only be a matter of time before all of us find ourselves you know, completely screwed by some mega corporation that has eliminated our ability to shoot the type of photos that we've been shooting for generation after generation. And that's what I'm really concerned about. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understand what's going on with Amazon and the white background thing now. I hope it didn't shock or terrify any of you guys and that you'll continue to shoot photography your way because you're definitely and certainly entitled to do that. And I just hope that there's a way to protect our ability to do that in the future somehow. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other videos in my series. And as always, thanks for watching.